Okay, so it's time for supporter Q&A, which is the part of the show where every week I post on our Patreon saying, hey, why don't you suggest some news topics and uh, questions for inclusion in the show? We choose the best or other the ones that we're best equipped to answer. And uh, we're going to go straight into this one from Alexander Seidel. It's been 1.5 years. Why isn't every game using direct storage right now? <laughs> so, uh, an interesting question, right, Alex? Uh, well, 1.5 years is not too long in the modern development landscape. Uh, so I think that is one reason, uh, it just takes a while to adapt any sort of technology there. I think also a lot of people are not necessarily using it, uh, because it is yet to be proven, at least on the decompression side of things. I think the whole bypass IO side of getting lower latency, lower CPU overhead to doing any sort of loading is beneficial to many projects, if not all projects. But the whole GPU decompression side is, as we heard from Nixies, just it's not completely well thought out. It's not, it's not a winning, it's not just like an easy win. It's situational right. at best and bad at worst. So, um, I don't think that is very enticing for a developer to start investing in until there's something else done about it based upon that yep. experience that we heard. So I think that's one reason why we haven't seen it, but it still depresses me a bit to not see it. I would have loved to see more experimentation there. I think we really only have for spoken the, the variety of Nixie's titles post Ratchet and Clank. It's apparently in use in Forza Motorsport on PC, but we don't know how. I don't know how. The game has <laughs> yeah, a lot of loading screens. I don't know. Yeah, quite. Yeah, so. Yeah. There was also bits apparently used in uh, Forza Horizon 5, but whether that's just console only, I don't know. That's true. Um, I remember that. Yeah, but um, I think it's also worth bearing in mind that these new storage APIs and uh I'm talking about the PlayStation 1 as well, they aren't actually being used on all console games either. So, you know, I'm assuming there's some level of uh, challenge in just, you know, migrating across to them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, certainly what we have seen on the PlayStation 5 side uh, in terms of broad adoption has been um, the enhanced uh, compression systems that they've been using there. You know, we've seen quite a lot of games with smaller file sizes than their Xbox equivalents, which I find quite interesting. Um, my thought on it, Alex, I don't know whether you, what you think about this, is that, um, what can I say? The consoles have got a dedicated block to do all of this decompression work, but on PC, you've still got to tap into some existing resources. You know, you're essentially possibly robbing Peter to pay Paul, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, is something that, Possibly we saw in Ratchet and Clank back in the day. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Oliver, have you got any thoughts on this one? Uh, not particularly. I would defer to Alex on all matters direct storage. <laughs> <laughs> Most matters PC. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree with Alex, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of you. Uh, <laughs> we, talked about this, we talked about this last week, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a hardware decompression block appearing in GPUs or... On the next one, even. yeah, yeah. Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch Two's got it right, so yep. I assume I actually think Blackwell may have one. It might be one of the things they talk about. Uh, another thing here, like the robbing Peter to pay Paul thing, which I think is great, is that uh, direct storage kind of limits you into using one uh, a compression technique more or less right. one that isn't mm -hmm. very good on the CPU questionable on the GPU all things considered now that I've seen it in action and based upon what Nixie said we'll, we'll just use LZ4 compression instead we'll, we'll get maybe a different compression ratio a different size on disk but it is fast in terms of bandwidth and light on the CPU and CPU resources on PC unless you're rocking a Ryzen 5 3600 which I tend to show off in my videos You've got plenty of CPU to spare usually. So, um, yeah, it is a bit of a questionable thing, actually. All things said and done based upon what we've seen in games since the generation changed, as well as since, you know, we see things like UE5 taking up. Uh, that's doing its own active 
uh, streaming of game content all the time. And it really hasn't been the big issue with that engine at all. It has other issues. It seems like the streaming is mm-hmm. actually pretty okay in yeah. 5. 